Hey everyone, Bradley tuning in. Would you buy a rural property knowing these five things? And if not, make sure you tag someone down below that still would. Before we get started, my name is Bradley. We do these videos every week. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. But as a realtor, I see people that have that country home dream all the time, but often they don't think of the downsides maybe to owning a rural property. So I wanted to share with you five of the biggies that I've seen in my business that you should maybe consider before considering buying a property in the country. Number one is the smell. Now there was an act passed called the Farming and Food Protection Act, which essentially says that if it stinks in your place because of your neighbor who's a farmer just doing his job properly, there is nothing you can do, you can't complain, and I'll tell you that it will frequently smell being in the country. If you're not okay with that, then maybe this type of property is not for you. Number two is the septic. To replace an entire septic system can cost between five and $10,000. I had a client last year who bought a property that actually found during inspection that the tank, the septic tank was smashed and the replacement cost was about $3,000, which was left to the seller. Fortunately, we found it. However, those sellers weren't so lucky because when they bought it, it was already smashed, but they hadn't checked. So we wanna make sure we know what the state of the septic is because it can cost us a lot of money, not to mention you're gonna have to clean that poop out every so often. Number three is our well water. Unlike in the urban centers, when it comes to the land, you live off the land in, in a real sense, especially on well water. So we wanna make sure that it's, it's safe and that it's checked frequently. Now on the next tab, number four, which kind of links to the same phase is the idea of industry moving in. We're finding more and more because the land in the country is so affordable that often big industry will try to move in. I have a friend of mine who has a country property where there is someone looking to open a gravel pit right across the street and they've been fighting for the last few years to have this protected, the land protected and, this, and preventing this man from moving in and doing all of this damage to the land. And this can be a real problem you can move into if you buy a rural property. So we wanna make sure we know what the trends are in that area so we can make a wise decision. And number five is taxes. When you buy a resale home, you're not subject to taxes. The taxes are included in the purchase price. But if you're buying a farm property for the purpose of you to move in, that zoning says you have to pay HST on top. And this has been a challenge that I've said for people who buy new builds, but the same applies for farms. So it treated a little bit different depending on that zoning and the purpose and the use of that property. If knowing these five things, you still want a rural property, good on you. Let us know down in the comments below, leave a like or let us know. As well, if it's not you, maybe you know someone who has braved the elements and gone ahead and bought this type of property and loves it. If so, tag them down below. Let me ask you guys this question. Did I miss anything? Are there any other items that getting a rural property either is a challenge or maybe there's some good things as well. And I'd love to hear those down in the comments below. I'll see you guys next week with more tips and tricks. Take care and keep it real.